It has been an inexpressible honor. And I mean this. It has been an inexpressible honor for the Lord to give us the opportunity to shepherd you. And if you would ask me if I felt, even today, that if I had what it takes to do that, no. And so that's why I say what I said. It's been an inexpressible honor. And yet I know that it is something that God has called. Um, right now I, I'm conscious that I'm speaking to some of you who are, uh, you're no longer here. And for whatever reason, God led you out or you felt that you just had to leave. Um, I want you to know we would not be here had you not been here uh, to embrace us, to love us, to tell us, not just with your, with your lips, but also with your, with your life, with your money, with your time, with your talents, with your energy, with the spiritual gifting that God had given to you, to say to, to us and to this house, this is of God, you are of God, and I want to invest here. And I want you to know not a day of my life uh, have I ever thought differently. God sent you. And it's so special to be sitting in these chairs today. We know it was the grace of God that, that, and the wisdom of God that made all this possible. And your investment, your investment and your obedience to the Lord is a huge part of where we are. And so wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I, I want to apologize for the places where we've missed you and where we hurt you and where we caused you ungodly pain and for the places where we, we just didn't make it, we didn't make the grade. I'm thankful that you are alive, that you're well, that you're doing well, and our, our heart's desire and prayer is that God will will continue to pour into your life and make this make your life what it, what it ought to be. For those of you that are here, that are from the former days, and God has graced you to be able to remain, and you've been able to be with us, we thank you so much. Thank you so very much. And we love you with, I love you with more than I know how to say. Um, in, in, in so many ways, again, your commitment has been another expression of the covenant of God, God's grace. I think, I know this isn't our church. My grandson asked me sometimes, he goes, Grandpa, Papa, is this your church? I said, no, it's the Lord's church. But your commitment to us, your commitment to us has been a reassuring expression of the grace of God, God's forgiveness, God's long-suffering, God's mm -hmm. patience. God's determination that this work, this people, not just this work, this people emerge and be strong and be healthy and be vibrant and be sustained and be multi-generational. And so it's, it's, it's a cue. It's, it's, it's a constant reminder. And there's no way I could thank you. Sounds so trite, but, but I'm so grateful. We're so grateful for that, and you've just been a, a constant, a constant picture of the grace of God, the love of God, the patience of God for us. And many of you have left it, as we say in basketball language, you left it on the floor. You, you played all four quarters and some, and giving your money, your time, your energy, your family, everything you've sacrificed. And, we want you to know we're so grateful and we look forward to being able to move forward together with you. And uh, we, our prayer has been from before day one that, that you and your family would suffer no losses, no detrimental losses because of your investment in him, in us, in this work, in this people. And we're expecting that. You that have just come here newer, we've been waiting on you. And uh, we kind of feel like we're, God is now able to trust us a little bit more with, with you. Uh, 
in the years in the past, a number of the people that came, God sent them for that time, and they came from other churches, from other places, and a few of you may be coming from other churches, but it seems like more of you either were disillusioned, you were kind of at home, uh, crying out for truth, and we now have an opportunity to work with you. And boy, you know, uh, my pastor once said to us, whoever you allow to take care of your children, that, that person or those people are very special people. And so we feel very special that the Lord would entrust us with you. The last couple of years, last three or four, five years, uh, such pain, such difficulty, everyone has had it, but we've just sensed that all the shifts in our nation around the world. And you're here. You're here. And we love you more than we know how to say. And uh, there is so much that God has in store for you. And I, I see that, that St. Louis, that the nation is going to be impacted in such a powerful and a rich way as you obey what God has called you to, to do. And so we want to say thank you also that we love you. Honey? We love you and we see you as valuable jewels, precious, precious jewels made in the image of God, in the likeness of God. We don't take it for granted. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. I don't need to single out one group or the other. We love all of you right. by the grace of God. And we know that the Holy Spirit is helping us to love you better, to love you well. Whether you are in another church, whether you planted another church, thank God for you. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon Amen. you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You just join us in prayer for a few minutes in light of not only what's been said, but what the, who the Lord is and what he's done. God, our Father, we love you and we thank you so much for your faithfulness. We just can't even put into words what it's meant that you would choose us. Us. Two kids from, from the hood who grew up wanting to do well but not really knowing how. Father, our testimonies are not spectacular, but yet you've given us the opportunity to, to reach out and to touch and to be loved and to love. We thank you, Lord, as we look back and we see uh, that you had this congregation in mind long before we were even born. Uh, in the litany of people, in the history of people, of our predecessors that have given of their lives, Lord, in St. Louis and in other regions around the world. You included our names and you included us to be a part of the expansion of your kingdom, the proclamation of your gospel. Lord, in the midst of all of the things that are valuable in the world, it's, it's you. It's you. It's your word. It's your kingdom, it's your love for us, it's the cross, it's the gospel of Jesus Christ that is the most important thing, and you gave us a chance to be a part of that, and we bless you, we praise you, Lord God, we thank you for uh, those who were Christians who joined out with us, our family, Lord, our friends who believed in the word that you gave us, we thank you for them, God, and we thank you for those who came along through their witness and who, who saw by the Spirit, you helped them to see that we weren't playing, it wasn't a joke, that it was really true that you called us to be a part of bringing your gospel and worshiping God and loving people, serving your purpose in our generation, in the next generation. And so Lord, we, we, we just... It seems so small to say it like this, but we thank you, we honor you, we bless you, we praise you for every life, for every soul, every marriage that was impacted, every child, everyone that's been healed physically, healed emotionally, healed mentally, God, every relationship. We thank you for every penny, every dime, those that sacrificed to help us to build 
of what you told us to build up until this point. Lord, we thank you. We just bless you, Lord. We thank you for those who, who uh, gave up opportunities that were presented to them to be paid to serve in other places, to make money in other places. God, others who could have taken transfers and relocations, and they honored your word. Some you told to do it, and they left. But Lord, others who, who gave it up, they sacrificed that your will would be done. More importantly, Lord, their families who, who, who were, who were uh, denied certain things in order that this might go forth. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you for it, God. For every place where uh, we went in, uh, God, and we planted and we watered, we know you're the one who gave the increase, Father. We, it wasn't us. You gave the increase. And we thank you for the increase, Lord, even how you sent us in where other men labored. They died without seeing the fruit. And you blessed us to be a part of that harvest. We thank you. We give you all the glory for it, all the honor for it, all the praise for it. Every child, Lord, every one, black and white and red and yellow and brown. God, the vision you've given us that it would be multi-ethnic. We thank you, Father, just for the budding of it, how you've caused it to come into fruition. Those who've come from other nations, Lord, to be a part in it said, we are with you. We are what, this is where God called us to be. From every nation, God, we will bless you, Father. And for the nations you've given us the opportunity to go in to touch, to be a part of in Israel, God, and nations in Africa, Lord, and in the Middle East, God, and in Europe, God, in the islands of the sea. We thank you for every missionary that you blessed us to sponsor, to be a part of, and we praise you for the souls, the multiplied thousands, maybe even millions of souls that we'll never even know until we're in heaven together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We do praise you. We do honor you. The feet of our lips to give thanks to you, Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your long suffering. Thank you for your loving kindness, oh God. Thank you for these 30 years. We give you the praise. We give you the glory, Lord. We confess that our sin, Lord. Yes. Forgive us and cleanse us of everything that we've done that was not pleasing to you. Yes, God. Wash us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, Rupa, that yes. you are working a work in us. Thank you, Lord, that every word that you've spoken will come to pass. Lord. Every prophetic word, we believe it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.